back with another tutorial. Get my heart together. Don't pay attention to my my face because I'm going through. Anyway, <laughs> not going through. But what um it's a late night and I got orders that I need to get out. So I wanted to kind of do some tutorials back to back so you all can kind of see um some of the different things that I do in the shop. So this was a frontal unit. Actually, it's a 360 unit. See, it's actually being used, so I'm getting ready to clean it. But it's already together. I sewed it um, onto the client's hair. But what I'm getting ready to do is to make it a lace wig. So I have my wig head. I'm sorry, my wig block. I'm going to put this on. Because this is now going to serve as the foundation for the wig. So, this is a 22. And my client's head is a 22. So, I'm going to pin it down. Hopefully, I can just put it on and sew it. I don't have to do anything major to it. Because the tracks are loose, of course, but I really want to put it on as a whole unit and sew it down. We're going to see, okay, this this light right here, trying to be cute and decorative. Let me, let me time, come up a little bit, because you all in my stuff. So, I'm going to release the adjustable bands in the back. Put it on my mannequin head. We're playing with me little stick pin. So, and it's down in the back, the 360. Okay. So now I'm going to pin it down and I'm going to show you. So see, now it's on this wig block. And I pinned it down in the back on that cap. See that? So now what I'm going to do is just go in and pin the wig. I'm sorry, pin that frontal down. Okay, so this is the wig here. So this is where the lace is on the three sixty. So, I'm going to sew that lace to the cap. So, once I get, like, all the way to the other side, I'm going to pull, start pulling those tracks down so that I can start to sew those down to the cap too.
I'm going to keep it just like it was. Just pull it down. I'm going to sew these down, and then I'll be back. Still working on it. As you can see, it's still intact, and I'm just pulling it down and sewing it. But I wanted to make sure y'all knew that I didn't cheat. I actually, I'm leaving it the way that it is. And just sewing it down because it's easier that way than to take it all apart and re um redo it so i'm just bringing each track down and sewing it down the way that it was on the client's head now i got this these pieces so i'm gonna pull them down thread that was left so when i round the corner see this this is the can you see that lace let me bring it down see that lace and this is the cap so so and so and so and so and so let me come over here Move this table over a little bit. So I want y'all to be able to see how around this corner. Thread. Cool it. Just cool it. Sleepy so I couldn't hit that note. Okay. So <laughs> I'm still picking up that cap underneath but now I'm gonna go I'm gonna make sure that as I'm rounding I'm picking up that thread see that But make sure that you're also grabbing that cap underneath because even though we're, we'll cut the cap away from the lace in the front and in the back, that lace needs to be attached to the cap on the inside. Okay. And I always just grab and I grab that top um, width and I go through which I'll show you on a, another video. But anyway, this is still grabbing that lace and the cap underneath. But I'm going back around. It's the back. Remember, we do not sew down here because you're going to remove that uh, wig cap from underneath here so you can see the uh, scalp underneath here. So there will be no um, cap underneath this part. So you'll cut that out once it's clean. Okay. And come up here. This is the front. Bend it down so you all can see. You see that? 
for spell their hand call sweet. It's a wig. 